Hi there and welcome to my channel. Today's project is for the VK Beauty and Design team and this week we were asked to show you some of our Christmas tradition and how we document them. Now VK was given, uh, has gifted us one of her Christmas kits. So I'm going to use a little bit of her kit, a little bit of my stash just to document my December. And if you uh, follow my channel or follow my work, then you know that I document my December on Traveler's Notebook. But since I take a lot of pictures and I'm following the Capture the Season uh, challenge that Vicky um, created, I'm going to use actually her album too. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to create a uh, transparency, which I'm using a lot on this uh, album, using uh, the clear um, trans plastic or acrylic from American Crafts. And this is part of Vicky's Field Note release. And when you open the pack, it's a 25 pack of 12 by 12 transparencies. The, each one of the transparencies comes with a cling, uh, it's a piece of trace paper, but it's kind of cling wrap to the plastic. So for most of my pages, not for all of them, for some of them, I kept the cling wrap. I just added a little bit of glue so it sticks together. So how I go about and build this glitter glaze is by mixing a little bit of acrylic gel, the matte acrylic gel, with a little bit, in this case, I'm going to go with the iridescent glaze. Now, if I use the iridescent glaze, I can add uh watercolor or i can add um our crayons to make it different colors or i can go with the gold the the gold glaze or the silver glaze or the rose gold just to create that color glitter glaze now to make a glitter glaze like the word says i'm gonna add glitter in this case i'm gonna add silver glitter and i'm gonna i'm using vicky's fine glitter i find it's super easy to work and i'm just mix it together and now my first idea was to create a big tag a tag that's gonna be the length of the page so for this, I cut some transparency. I think this is around three and a half inches by eight and a quarter. And no, sorry, eight and a half. And all I'm doing is I'm using a stencil from my stash. I wanted some stars. There's a theme of stars all over my uh, pages. So all I'm doing is running some of the glitter glaze just to keep me at the bottom of the tag. Like I said, I'm going to transform this transparency into a tag. So I'm just adding some of the stars at the bottom. Now, the beauty with this glitter glaze is that it's thick. So it's going to give you those thick, uh, crisp lines that you want on a stencil. As long as you make sure that you stay, when you're running the paste, just go one way. So starting at the top, just go to the bottom. Don't go back because then you're going to have, uh, you're going to push the, the, the glaze in this case underneath the stencil. So try just to go one way. Now, I had a piece of, um, foundation paper this is not uh has no yes so i just had it because i cut uh, i did a cut file so i had the leftover piece and all i'm gonna do is just add this uh stencil all these words and this is a highly swept stencil and i'm using the same glitter glaze and i'm just gonna go ahead and just run it through the entire words i have this idea that i'm gonna cut it and i'm just gonna use it as one of my um i'm gonna say divider pages or filler pages in my album now, one thing is this piece does take a little while to dry. So I'm going to set it aside to dry for a while and work on another things while it's drying. Now, I still had some leftover, uh, some of that glaze. And I added it to a few pieces of transparency using the same uh, stencil. And I'm going to use it in some projects. You're going to see, I'm going to show you later on. Now, while that dries, I'm going to go ahead. And I, I saw this image, not to all, I can't remember who I saw it from. But she had created a tree, and I think it's Ali Edwards actually, using different round stickers. So I had this idea that I could use uh, the foundation paper, on in this case, uh, one of the inserts for the junk journal, the mixed media journal, and the circle stamps from Vicky's release to create something similar. Now for this, I'm going to use the ink wheels and some embossing powder. And I just want to give you some ideas. Uh, I read not too long ago at Vicky's uh, community page, that somebody said that the ink stays really uh doesn't dry really fast and it is true it's a very juicy ink and it's gonna take a while to dry so what i i'm gonna take advantage of that to actually use it to emboss and what i'm doing is i'm gonna stay within the greens and the red because the kit that vicky sent us has a lot of greens and reds but also because it's very festive but i'm gonna mix a little bit of silver and gold along the way so all i'm doing is using the circle stamps and i'm going with the starburst the one that looks like the peppermint candy and the one with the polka dots just to create some of um of the stamp images like i said again this is a uh, mixed media paper now i am going to use two different colors of uh, embossing powder one of the circles are going to be embossed with green embossing powder and these are from martha stewart i found them at the dollar store actually super cheap and i love them and the other one that i'm going to use is actually a clear uh, embossing powder 
So when I heat it up with my gun, you're gonna see how the colors change. The one that I embossed the green ink with the green powder, give me this olive kind of mossy tone. But the ones that I did with the clear uh, embossing powder give me this kind of tealish tone. And I love the fact that it's the same ink, but it reacted different with the embossing powders. And it's going to help me when I'm creating the tree, just to give me a different variation of the color. And it's going to look so uh, two-toned in a way. And you're going to see while I emboss it, you're going to see the difference. And then I'm going to take it off camera. And I worked also with the red, the same stamps with the red. And also with some gold and for the gold i just use embossing uh, ink and some gold embossing powder and then i'm gonna come back to show you how it worked i wanted to use silver but i don't have silver embossing powder but i wanted to have the glittery look that i have all over the pages so i had this idea it worked in a little bit i'm still not too how can I say, not too keen on the idea so what i'm using for this is uh, some matte acrylic gel and all i did is Put a little bit on my on my mat and I spread it with uh, a palette knife and then i'm gonna use uh, i'm gonna use it to stamp some images i'm using the starburst uh, stamp i think that if i put enough of this glaze or not the glaze so of the gel on the paper and then i sprinkle glitter i might be able to create uh, the glitter look that i'm looking for now it does work i think i needed to add more matte acrylic gel a little bit more would help even more and maybe my mistake is i should have pressed with my finger the glitter so that it stayed in the um, like it actually glued to the to the matte acrylic gel it is glued but some of it is loose just because glitter tends to go all over the place but uh i'm gonna set it aside to dry and then i'm gonna take it off camera just to cut the circles using the dies that come in the stamp and dice it as you're gonna see i have to all cut them out and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, I would debate it between the acrylic uh, page and uh, a piece of vellum. So I'm going to use the vellum because I think I can back it with another piece of paper. Now, my idea was to uh, actually create a triangle of circles. Some of them are going to be hidden. Some of them are going to be superimposed. Some of them just um, to form a tree. And all I did is, like I said, I was thinking a triangle with a star on top. So I'm going to start with the star. And this star comes from the Merry Days collection. It's part of the embellishments and it actually is to form tags but i'm going to use it as the tree topper in this case and after that i'm just going to start playing with some of the images now this part for me maybe because i have ocd when it comes to some of some things i had a hard time forming the tree so i had to take it off camera i had to cut quite a bit of the footage because i changed a lot and until i realized that i had only stamped three big of those silver uh, glittery circles so I use them to create my triangle within the tree. So a triangle within the triangle. And then I just split around with the other circles. Like I said, some of them are going to be hidden. Some of them are going to be on top of each other. So that it creates the triangle. So I'm going to play with it a little bit more. I'm not going to show you the entire process. Because like I said, it took a while. It did frustrate me a bit. I had to take a break. And then I came back. And um, once I was happy with everything was placed, I just went ahead and used glue to... Um, glue it onto the vellum i know i'm gonna back the vellum you're gonna see it that i actually use a piece of uh copy paper we have the vellum and i put it inside one of the um, sleeves i don't know how you call it, the pitch protector sorry because there's glitter and i don't want the glitter to go all over so at least this way i can kind of control where it's gonna stay now one of the things that i did is i'm gonna use vicky's uh stickers this comes from the all the good things collection and i love the fun stars here because the pic the other pages that comes next to it is all full of funny pictures and then i use the big foam word that says shine to create the title of that page now while i worked all of this all the transparency dried and i'm gonna see how i created the tag i just cut the t the top and i added uh that little star is a cut file i backed it with one of the papers from the field notes collection and you're gonna see the little circles that i created the words i just used them inside the two by two uh two by two pocket just to add a little bit more of the tactile look and i like the glitter look on my page now this is the paper that i have set aside like i said this is a foundation paper i just run the highly swap stencil with the glitter glaze but i want to add color i don't want to keep it so white so my choice is i want to add green because um you're going to see in a bit when i show you the walkthrough why i added the green it's because a lot of the pictures that i face in this page are black and white so i need to bring some color so for this i mix us uh, two colors of this come from the cooler set and i added a little bit of the navy from the neutral set 
And all I'm going to do is add a little bit of the color. You're going to see that I use a spray bottle. Uh, and this, like I said before, this foundation paper was not yet. So, so I just added a little bit just to spread the, the pigment a little bit faster. And then I'm going to set it aside to dry. And I did, uh, it did lose a little bit of color because I actually blotted a little bit of the water with a piece of paper. But once it was set, I'm going to bring a card file. Like I said, the theme that I'm following through my entire pages are stars, the snowflakes. I just want that look and it's going to tie up all my pages. So I had this card file from Handy Papier, Handy Papier, sorry. And then, um, and I backed it with vellum. And then I'm just going to add a foam dot to the center and glue it onto the page where I added the green dot. Now and then I'm gonna glue the pic. I actually worked out the pic the picture that I wanna add. I made it big enough so that it fits behind it. And this is actually, I believe, is eight by five. Yeah, I think it's eight by five. The total measure of the picture. And I just put it through my printer. I use a uh, Lightroom, so I'm able to fix the picture to whatever size I want to work. Now. Once I uh, glue it together, I punched the holes and then I just added one of the Merry Days uh, titles that says Holiday Wishes. Because what I'm going to use this page for is to actually um, show you what I did with the list. And I'm just adding a little tab at the bottom because I want to make sure that I'm able to move the page around. It's a smaller than the, the regular page, so I'm, the tab is going to help me. Now, to bring color onto this page, and I was inspired by the green that I used before. I'm going to bring some of the stickers from uh, Vicky's Feel Notes collection. I'm going to see them. They actually pop, and it has the same tone of green that I used on this cover page. I used the chipboard sticker and also the see-through stickers, and these numbers also come from the watercolor stickers. And I just added that little banner and those little stars that come from my stash. Now, this is pretty much it. I'm going to show you a walkthrough of what I've been working on my book. And I'm using the Capture the Season prompts that Vicky uh produced for us and i still haven't cut worked on my cover i don't know yet what i'm gonna do i know i'm gonna add the, all the prompts to the cover like to the to the back of the cover now here's the first page of my uh my album and i used the glitter glaze but i used it in gold and i just added some uh, like i said the snowflake is my theme now i'm gonna use this as part of the simple stories a kid that vicky sent us and i just added like an intention page what i wanted to create this album uh, and I'm just going to work on some of the pages. I love working with large pictures. Either it's my TN or on this album. So you're going to see that I work. I'm trying to work with what Vicky sent us. And just also add some of the stuff that I, I have a lot of digital uh, products from different companies. Especially from the creative uh, bubble. And I like using them in this particular. I stash a lot of digital products. So you'll be surprised. So you're going to see that along the way I'm using quite a bit of transparency. Quite a bit of vellum. A lot of cut files is just something that I feel very comfortable with and that I know that I can achieve the look that I want to. And there's a lot of gold too along the pages. I just think when I think uh, the, the season, I think of gold. Now, this is going to be probably one of my favorite pages. And uh, this is the, the home, I call it a section, it's home for the holiday. So, um, this cut file is actually from an advent calendar from Handy Papier. And all I did is I enlarged one of the windows. And then I created this window that is pretty much what you see when you enter my apartment. You're going to see this. You're going to see the small table filled with my daughter's uh, little Christmas tree, the, my Christmas layout, and all the stockings hanging and all my layouts behind it. Pretty much that's what you look when you enter my house. So I wanted to document that. That's around my house. And there's the stockings. I'm going to write a story. I'm really big into writing stories. This again, another one of my favorite pages. I actually, that's a card file, the little house from Handy Papier. And I layered it in between two pieces of um, vellum. And I just added some stickers. And then I'm, again, I'm working with the gold. I'm working with a lot of uh, printables. These are all digital collections. Some of them are free from Watch the Pages and some from Heidi Swap. Again, I'm big with pockets and working with vellum. So I'm creating text where I can put my uh, stories. And then I'm just adding a lot of the stuff that vicky sent us on her kit this little epic is from an old project life kit from heidi swap and like i said again i'm working with large large pictures i love that effect that it has on albums and again this is one of my favorite ornaments i bought it this year so and again if you see numbers it's because my ocd it makes me it just helps me to work better uh doesn't mean that it's in order it's just um things that i have now Here's what I'm using a lot of Vicky's products. And you're going to see that 
in some places i am using some of vicky's papers to back my um my words in this case my journaling i'm adding some of the stickers just because i want the look i want the black that vicky has on her collection i want those straight edges i enjoyed a lot of her watercolor looks so i think that it's going to bring a lot of uh, color into my album now here's one of the tags remember that i recreated and like i said again i just cut it to be the size i make sure that when i back the cut file and i place the cut file and i created the next page and this is again this is vicky's uh, paper from the field notes collection i see in a bit i make sure that when the tag is closed it doesn't cover the faces of the people so a little bit of time when creating i created the tags ahead of time and then added the picture after i just mindful of where i put up uh, things and you're gonna see i'm gonna show you the back of the paper and you're gonna see it's from the field notes collection i love the red it's a little bit more on the orangey side and it's perfect for what i have in mind so you're gonna see that's the paper and this is the group of circles again i am adding some of my um embellishments outside of the page protectors i like the fact that there's dimension and like the fact that it's kind of tactile there's texture um love how this tree turned out i i love the dimension i love uh, how and again why I keep i'm keeping it inside a page protectors because there's that glitter and i don't want to lose it again this is one of my favorite pages i'm using the two by two again i'm using a lot of vicky's stickers and these are the little pieces of um that i created using as um the glitter glaze in this case the glitter paste that i created you're gonna see that i use some of the gold and on the back i created a little heart and then i cut around them and glue them to the back of the transparency so it gives me uh like a double look and again all these stickers that i use uh, i love big stickers because they're so easy to work with again you're gonna see that i add them some of them are from the k but most of them are actually from the field notes collection of the all the good things collection again using the Heidi swap um stencil i just used the word joy to a piece of transparency i knew i can cut it two by two some of these words i actually used them i put them into a piece of transparency that i had extra and i'm gonna cut them you're gonna see them this is the page that i show you how to create i love how this page turned out the black and white the green pops and it's actually gonna help me tell the story and this is the making the list story and i actually had the kid each writer i have them do this once in a while had a little tag again one of the papers from the all the good things collection so i made them write uh, on a little this tag is from actually in a creative bubble and you're gonna see each one of the kids has a, a little vellum pocket and i actually use the new uh vellum um it's not vellum it's a pocket um punch from we're memory keepers to create those uh those uh, envelopes and all i did is add the picture of the kids right in the list and then i printed the little list smaller and then i just added little tags from the merry days collection and those little stars actually are from a uh, from my stash and all i did is i just add the picture add the wish list at the front i just told them to write two things or three things that they wanted the most and i love because my little nephew just learning to write so he wrote a helicopter and a cat but we got him that not the cat but they're getting a cat anyway so i did that for everything and then uh that's pretty much it i gonna come back in a few days to show you more of what i'm working but i hope you enjoyed the video and i would love to see how you document your december if you have any questions don't hesitate to contact me and have a very merry christmas i'll see you in a bit take care